Shalom and good day all. This is the Helam 29 back again. I hope you can hear me fine. Um, just and I must admit, this is really nice to come across the uh, this article uh, dealing with Peter um, with Jorge Jimenez. And as we see here, it's through CBR. Uh, Super Suns artist Jorge Jimenez shares discarded manga John Kent sketches. Uh, DC artist Jorge Jimenez reveals alternate designs for John Kent or John Samuel Kent Superboy in the original Super Suns series created with Peter J. Tomasi. And as we can see here, we've got a bit of a glimpse. Uh, Super. Right? These are the shares. Many of the DC fans may recognize John's wardrobe when he was younger. Ripped jeans, sneakers, and a sweatshirt with his father's red and yellow symbol and a red cape attached. However, the artwork posted on Jorge Jimenez's Instagram shows that John almost wore a suit a lot more like his father's but with red boots and trunks as well as a completely different design that is predominantly blue instead of red. Jimenez wrote alongside, I don't know if I've shown this before, maybe yes, some discarded versions of John's design, probably to manga or anime style. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. I quite like it. And... This is where it's meant to show the Instagram post, and uh, we'll get to see those pictures soon enough. Uh, starring John and R starring John and Robin Damian Wayne, the original Super Sons series was created by the writer Peter J. Tomasi and Jorge Jimenez. And don't forget that also came off Trial of the Super Sons or Trial of the Super Sun. Uh, running for 17 issues. No, 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 no. It was 16 issues, not 17. Uh, unless you're counting uh, the Dino Mutt as one of them. Though Jimenez only illustrated the original title, Peter... Uh, J. Tomasi has written other books starring the young duo, including Adventures of the Super Sons, uh, 2018 to 2019, Challenge of the Super Sons, 2020 to 2021. Uh, both are worth picking up. I advise you get them because they are absolutely fantastic. And of course, the Superman and Robin special with which also included a variant from Jimenez. Though Damien also appears more than once in the Superman Son of kal by terrible one-trick pony Tom Taylor. Alright, these are the images. And I must admit, I see nothing wrong with these images. And I'm being completely blunt. I see nothing wrong with these images. As I feel that the public would have no problem with them. And as we can see there, there's the first one. With him, with the trunks and with the boxes. Um, this one with the ripped jeans. This one sort of like what we normally see. And that one of what we normally see. John and Damien are about to start in... Their very own movie, Batman and Superman, Battle of the Super Sons, scripted by the Flash comic writer Jeremy Adams and directed by Matt Peters. After being announced the DC fandom to, uh, in, at the DC Fandom 2021, DC recently re released the official trailer for the upcoming picture which uses Jimenez's designs from the original comics the film focuses on John and Damien teaming up, uh, teaming up to save the world and their dads from Star of the Conqueror. And of course this links to the actual 
amazing trailer, and I advise you go check it out. I think it's fantastic. Uh, personally, I don't think it requires another trailer. I think this trailer tells us, the viewer, everything that we want to know about the story. Uh, and the fun part will be actually seeing the story itself. Of course, the newly released sketches by Jorge Jimenez brings readers back to the time before John was aged up during writer, terrible DC writer, Brian Michael Bendis, keep him on his indie comics and Elseworld stories. Uh, Ivan Reyes, though, he is an incredible artist. Uh, in the current comics, uh, a older John is now of main Superman. Well, no, he isn't. He's more like a New 52. He's more like a New 52 Superman or Superboy. While his father is off in action comics in the War World Saga. Taylor has further developed John's character. No, he hasn't. Um, if anything, he has developed more of Jay Nakamura's character than um, John Samuel Kent's character because John is basically a side character in his own story. Having come out as bisexual in Stupid of Kalau. Issue 5. Well, no, that's incorrect. It didn't quite happen there. Uh, John is now the focal point of the DC Universe. And in Dark Crisis, written by Joshua Williamson, at least Joshua Williamson knows how to write a pretty decent um, John Kent compared to Tom Taylor, uh, to which Tom Taylor's is trash, being completely honest here. To which we are following the death of the Justice League, and it creates a brand new Justice League with Damien's with Damien as a member, though Williamson told CBR in an interview that you can't create a Justice League just because you want to make one. It doesn't work that way. And of course we have uh, Dark Crisis issue to release uh, for July 5th. While Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons uh, will be releasing on October 18, to which I've also got something planned for October 18, and do stay, uh, do keep your eyes and ears tuned out for it. And I must admit, it really is nice to see this uh, being released by Jorge Jimenez, and as a Super Sons reader, I would have no problem with um, this manga-like content showing up within the DC Universe. Well, we'll see you again at Super Sun's Fortress of Attitude. <laughs>